Off Broadway 5 does 45 as 6 does 8. Gabby Garcia, Jamie Lynn Beatty, Gabriela Joy Rodriguez, Enya and Asia, and Hannah Bonnet photo by Jeremy Daniel. Parodies aren't easy. Gerard L. Sandrini has been doing Forbidden Broadway for decades with mixed results. Carol Burnett parodied famous films, soap operas, and commercials for years on TV. Both of those were parodies that lasted only a few minutes and were, in general, non-political in nature. It takes a lot of courage to skewer a current political figure for 80 minutes in song as Shimmy Braun, Ma Sheel Newman Daphna, and Billy Recky have done, and, they like their predecessors have created a show that earned some yeah and nay votes. The six in the Henry VIII show are all his wives but thankfully DJT has only three so far, Ivana, Marla and Melania so the quintuplet here is rounded out with very first daughter Ivanka and his very costly companion, Stormy Daniels. The cast in wife order are Enya and Asia, Gabriela Joy Rodriguez and Jamie Lynn Beatty. Ivanka and Stormy are played by Hannah Bonnet and Gabby Garcia. All five, three of whom are triumphantly making their off-Broadway debuts, do a fine job singing and acting their respective parts. The lyrics are witty and timely, costumes are well chosen to depict the characters and their banter seems natural. The music has been borrowed from many different Broadway shows, Six, A Chorus Line, Gypsy etc. which, unfortunately, caused me to lose my concentration during the show as I was trying to place where the snips of music came from. I missed some of the lyrics as my brain went in a different direction. As in the Broadway show, Six, the five are competing with who was most wronged by DJT and each has more than valid arguments in, in reality as well as on this stage, but a sixth surprise guest, played by Jasmine Rice Lavija not only won the most damaged award but also brought the house down with her vocals. The surprise sixth woman to appear is not Lady Liberty, but, if she were around to judge the show, her scales would be closely balanced, some hits and misses on the dialogue and lyrics. All the women gave wonderful performances but the lack of original melodies hurt the production overall. Taking on the current political climate in such a terribly divided time is an ambitious task and for first-time produced playwrights this is truly something Mr. Braun and Daphne can be proud of.